Hello, uh, this is Larry with the Rapids at Middle Buildings, and today is uh, laying out uh, your anchor bolts uh, before you pour. Um, and to get started, we're going to be working with the hanger, a uh, pretty basic hanger with one door. And here's the, a shot of the end wall to where we're going to be, uh, let me get that end wall back, um, setting like this column here. And then behind here is a large uh, column or a mainframe in effect that holds up the door and here's a picture of that so we're going to be basically setting the anchor bolts for this and this column right here on this frame so to give you an idea of what's going on there so to get right to it uh, let's go to the floor plan and this is the gable side this is where you uh, have the hanger door and this is the side wall so to dial into this one right here you can see that um, we have pattern A and pattern D. And to go to the details of that on page two, this A, B, C, D, here's pattern A. And let's see, we move that over to the side. We'll kind of click back and forth here on the, on the patterns. And uh, you'll see here that it rotates, meaning that the orientation is possibly not right on your plans. And this is end wall or EW, and side wall would be obviously SW. And end wall here, in this case, is the gable or the left end wall, would be pattern A. So you're actually needing to turn it 90 degrees. Um, and see where it says C plan right here? That would be from the corner to the center of the column. And in this case, you have 4 foot 8 to the center. And you could see that you're 2 inches and 2 inches. So you go four foot eight from the corner of the concrete to two inches to two inches, two inches from the edge of the concrete to two inches to the edge of the concrete. And then over here, you'd add four more inches between the pattern. Uh, so that one's good. And let's go to pattern D. And you can see that pattern D is in the correct orientation already, but you're gonna have to flip it around for each corner or, or where it applies, obviously. But you got uh, one foot eight um, to the center of D, and then you have eight inches coming back on D, and then four inches to the first pattern. So it'd be one foot eight to the center, and then you'd have two inches over to the center of the bolt, and then four inches up to the center, and then four inches back to the next one. Uh, let's do that again. If you, if you take the corner of the concrete and you come one foot eight inches to the center of the column, and then you come eight inches to the face of the column, and then you go four inches and then two inches on either side. So there's four inches between these two bolts. I uh, hope that makes sense and doesn't drive you crazy. Um, but to give you a, a good view of it, uh, NCI or MBCI uh, as a best rendition of how this works. So this is your edge of your concrete and this is a temporary template of your anchor bolt pattern made for each pattern. Um, so what you do is, is you'd say okay from the edge of your concrete so many inches from the center and so many inches over to your first bolt then to your second bolt and then you'd have it sort of look like this to where your concrete you pour against your form and then you have it offset so much to your pattern here and then when you're pouring, you actually take the template off, unscrew the nuts and take the template off and finish around your um, pattern and you'd be good to set your steel. Uh, and that'll do it. Uh, this is uh, Larry with Rapid Set Metal Buildings and uh, thanks for listening.